Peter Andre has admitted Hess still scarred from the bullying and racism he received as a child. The father of four, 49, relocated from London to Australia when he was six before he became an overnight sensation with smash hit Mysterious Girl. However, as child, the Greek Cypriot star said he was mocked for, among other things, his curly hair, admitting he still straightens his locks today. Writing in his column for OK, Pete said, I recently appeared on Life Changing Stories, the Pride of Britain podcast with Carol Vorderman and we spoke about mental health and the racism and bullying I experienced as a child. I mentioned how I still straighten my hair as my curls remind me of being bullied as a kid. The reason for that is unfortunately when I look in the mirror I still see what those kids called me. So I got into the habit of straightening it, so I would see someone different from the outcast I was. Despite the painful memories, Pete said Carol advised him to try letting things go, but he did point out there are some people who may be scarred for a lifetime. The star turns 50 next year and said he wants to make some positive changes in his life. Explaining that mental health is absolutely real, Pete was keen to stress he wasn't speaking about his experiences for sympathy. Expressing his reasons for opening up, he said it was important to show that everyone has issues and that no one is 100% happy with themselves. The proud dad, who shares his two eldest kids with ex Katie Price, has a lot on at the moment as he focuses on his son Junior's flourishing music career as well as his own stint in Greece. Pete, who plays Vince Fontaine in the West End production has been regaling excited audiences with his dulcet tones. However in May he revealed his car had been smashed up and broken into while he was on stage. The singer filmed the damage outside the Dominion Theatre in the capital. Zooming in on the vehicle's broken back window, the star sounded thoroughly fed up. So, I came out of the venue tonight at Greece and this is what happened, he said, despondently. Someone smashed it, got all the stuff. Thankfully left my child's seat there. They've taken quite a few things. I felt really bad because people were coming up and I couldn't talk to them. I had to go because of what happened, 